Hi, everybody. Welcome to the, re the replay of week 11. I am Christine Hanks here with David Hall, owner of Seller Size. We are going to spend this day talking about my progress that went through last week. We've got a bunch of questions and answers that came through our Facebook pages that we're excited to answer and talk about. We've got some testimonies as well. And today we are going to be focusing on lymphatics and boost boosting our immune system. Does that sound okay for you? That sounds great. It's one of my favorite topics. So. <laughs> okay. So for those who have just joined us, we're grateful to have you with us. Um, we're hoping that the sound system is clear today. Please give us a thumbs up or a like this if it, the sound is good. Thank you. Tell us where you're from. Let's see who's with us. Okay. Hi, Melinda. Hi, Catherine. We're glad you're with us. Perfect. Glad that you can see and hear us. Hi, good, Angelia. Good. Hi, Carol Ann. Welcome from Colorado. We've got Deb from New York. Hi, Vitor. We're glad you... <laughs> Vitor, I have to hand it to you. <laughs> the hour that he gets on to join us every Monday is amazing to me. Thank you for being so dedicated. Vitor has been one of our greatest fans and greatest supporters. He's from Portugal, so it's nice to have him, have him here. Hi, Roxanne. Okay, thank you everybody for joining us. We're gonna go ahead and get started and thanks for everybody being here. We're gonna go ahead and start with a few testimonials that have come across and then we're gonna be making a phone call. Sounds great. So go for it. Christine, thank you. I wanna thank everybody for joining us. I hope you've had a great week and for those of you who haven't listened to us before, we're going to talk a little bit about some of the testimonials. We'll answer some questions that people have. If you have a question, feel free to post it. Uh, Christine is going to share a little bit about her experience and what we've been through this week. And then I'm going to do a little bit of a demonstration with regards to one of, the, my, one of my favorite topics, and that's the immune system, <laughs> lymphatic system, and how to improve that. So if you have anybody you'd like to make a phone call to, now's the time. Give them a call. Tell them about us. Have them, uh, have them join. And thank you for caring enough to share it with others. But we've got, uh, this one comes from Wilma. Wilma says, I had a... a another rebounder called a Maximus, I guess, pro rebounder, and my knees and back were starting to hurt. My cellar sizer came today and oh my land, what a difference. It is so much more sturdy, better quality, and so easy to jump on than the other one I had. The material is amazing. Thank you, Wilma. I agree. <laughs> so David, I started exercising with my rebounder and I can't thank you enough. All my body and lifestyle is changing. For me, doing physical exercise was hard because my knees hurt a lot, but not only, but not with my rebounder. Also, my bowel system is working as never before. Thanks, thanks, thanks. God bless you always. And of course, the gentle twisting motion, the second most important physical activity that I teach that we can do every day, actually is working all the smooth muscles. So the colon, the intestines, liver, kidney, spleen, gallbladder, pancreas, adrenals, they're all being massaged through the movement up and down and the gentle twisting. It also helps to loosen the lower back. And this one's from Kathy. Kathy says, I bought a cellar size about six months ago before I had, a, I had a cheap Walmart rebounder. I've noticed a lot of changes with my body. I am 50 years old and have suffered hormonal night sweats and they have been pretty much diminished. My knees are way stronger and pain-free after certain activities that I do. My entire body feels toned and strong. I've never felt this way and I have exercised quite regularly all my life. I would highly recommend a cellar sizer for anyone wanting to improve their health and body. And keep in mind, again, for those who are newer, the movement up and down on the cellar sizer is weight bearing, not weight lifting. So we don't limit the effect. The increase of weight is on every cell, every muscle, connective tissue, ligament, tendon, skin, even bones, over 100 times a minute through that movement up and down. Of course, it does a lot more than that. But So what questions do we have? Okay. So did we want to make that phone call? Yes, let's do that. Okay. okay. I, so I Kathy is with us actually online. Right. And um, Kathy had quite a struggle this last week and reached out. And, uh, and hers was about knees. And so this is kind of yeah. goes in with what we did last week. And we've got our phone number. So Kathy, are you ready to go? Kathy called me today. And I had the, 
a, just a beautiful experience. She called me at a point in the day which was really helpful because I've been dealing with our website issues and our Miss Rebounder app and some other issues, which is all part of running a business. And I was a little frustrated. And then I get this phone call from Kathy. The timing couldn't have been more perfect. And she had some very kind words to say, but she also had an experience. Now, last week we, we worked on knees and how to build up the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knee. And that's one of our specialties. I love doing it. I love working with doctors and physical trainers on that. So I'm going to, I asked Kathy after she finished speaking, I said, would you be willing to share this with our cellar size family? She said, yes. I said, I've never done this before, but I'm going to make a phone call to you and, and have you speak. She's going to take a, a few minutes to, uh, to share with us what her experience has been on the cellar sizer since injuring her knee. And she can tell you a little bit about the story. Thank you. Hello? Kathy? I think you have the wrong number. Oh, you're kidding. Did I call the wrong? Let me try again. My, my apologies. No problem. <laughs> what did I call? Nope, that's what I wrote down. Oh, no. It's oh, so, nope, that's not what I wrote down. Okay. Can't read my own writing. Trying again, Kathy. Thanks, everybody, for your patience. Yeah. Fantastic. Gotcha. What did you say? <laughs> I think we got it. Wait, 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 wait. Are you guys there? We're here. Are you there? We're here, Kathy. Are you there? <laughs> Can you hear? Hey, yes. Hey, don't dial it. I'm on. Okay. All right. You, you probably want to mute mute your um, background. Mute the, there you okay. go. I'm muted. Can you guys hear me? Yes. Just beautifully. So th okay. thank you for joining us, Kathy. Okay, so tell us your story. This. My pleasure. Um, I've been one of the biggest proponents of how do you get your knees strong. And I've been probably for nine weeks saying, can you do some more information on knee strengthening? And the week... 10, I was on vacation and I totally missed it, which is what I needed. So anyhow, on Friday, I was walking off the beach and I took one step on a step and I collapsed. Um, I lost all strength in that right knee. i had never had this happen before and I was totally upset. Can you guys hear me? Because I don't... Just fine. I can just see you. Oh, okay. So I continued my walk to the pool and um, I was in excruciating pain. We flew home on Saturday. I did the old ACE wrap. Um, I iced the whole thing. I was walking around the airports with ACE bandages and ice on my knee the whole time. I really don't know what I looked like, but it was the way I got through. And got home to Philadelphia, and my cellar sizer was in the basement. And Saturday, I did Saturday night. I didn't go down, but Sunday morning, I thought I'm going to try this. I could not go down steps. I crawled down crawled baby crawled down mm. to the basement and I bounced a little bit and I was actually afraid I thought hmm, I don't know what I'm doing I think I wrote you David right away and said I injured you said go look at the video I'm trying to fast forward this whole thing anyhow You're fine. Sunday I met an orthopod I'm an operating room nurse so I can meet mm. people and um, an orthopod looked at my knee and the bottom line was he didn't know really what was wrong from an x-ray, but he said I couldn't do anything to hurt it more unless I was in pain. And that was my light bulb. I went back to the video, and the last 10 minutes of week 10 is you improving your knees. And I think one of the biggest statements that you said was, and you had just healed your knees two or two and a half years ago from an injury, um, a knee injury and I thought okay if he could do it I can do it so I started bouncing and I could actually this morning I could actually walk up and down steps very gingerly but putting weight on my bad knee I went to a different orthopod this afternoon he's like you have a medial meniscus tear but we're not touching it because the changes have been dramatic in you in 48 hours yes. so keep doing what you're doing we don't need an MRI so I just came up from bouncing I'm sorry I call it bouncing but 
this has been a lifesaver. I, I'm not taking meds because I don't like them. I would if I had to, but it's really increasing. I, I can't talk to science, but I know I don't hurt. I can do steps. I'm not losing strength. It's been a miracle in 48 hours. At that 72. I can't count. One Friday. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Kathy. But you're welcome. Thank you so much for creating this thing and doing these these lives. They're 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 not important unless you need them. And I needed them. And you guys were there. And you answered my calls. I mean, this is all wonderful. I'm done. Thank you. Thank you. Kathy, Thanks, Kathy. Bless you and thank you for being part of the Solar Size family. Your influence will be helpful to a great many others. Thanks, Kathy. Thanks. Bye, you guys. Bet. Bye. <laughs> Love you. Bye. Christine, you look beautiful. Oh, thanks, Kathy. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, okay, so the moving up and down on the cellar sizer creates a pumping action. So even if we're not putting or working with the knee, just by lifting our heels up and down, the calf muscle is flexing, and the movement helps to reduce the inflammation and increase circulation to promote the healing process. And there, there's lots of different approaches we can take to the knee with the cellar sizer. The DVD goes through a great deal of them. And there's additional um, movements that if you have any questions, feel free to give me a call. Okay, okay. perfect. We're gonna ask a few questions here. Thank you. Uh, can working out on a cellar sizer afterwards make you tired? I know we've kind of talked about this, but it really, some people I think feel the other way, but I think I've heard of a lot of people actually, I love cellar sizing right before bed. Oh so. yeah, yeah, in fact I do too. <laughs> cellar sizing, movement up and down is going to open up circulation. The increase of circulation is going to help the body relax. When the body is tense and it's under stress then, or distress, then the lymphatic system and the circulatory systems aren't working as well and we're not as comfortable so we toss and turn. But we get on a cellar size and we're moving up and down. Um, I love to be able to do it before I go to bed and if I have a hard time sleeping, if you just do the gentle movement up and down. See, cellar size is not like typical exercise. The gentle moving up and down opens up circulation, the body relaxes. If you're hitting a hard surface, if you're tearing down to build up, you're building up inflammation, you're building up stress or tension in the body. Cellar size is releasing stress and tension in the body. It's a whole different dynamic. Okay, so Vitor asked a couple questions. We're gonna answer a few of them and then we'll get to the okay. rest of them later. Okay. But this one I'm sure a lot of people have asked, how do you clean your cellar sizer? What is a great way to clean it? Oh, just um, a spray bottle, some water, wipe it off. Uh, you can use you, you soap on it if you want. It's, it's pretty indestructible that way. I, I wouldn't put uh, heavy chemicals on it. You don't need them anyway. But just, yeah, just water. That's what we use, water, towel. Um, yeah, soap if you need to. Perfect. Okay, so my mom, who is 66 years old, does the cellar sizer every day too. She asked what the best exercises for urinary incontinence are. We get that question a lot. And, and, and it's understanding the sphincter muscle that controls bladder. You know, they do Kegel methods. And Kegel is when you tighten, and that's great for toning the muscle. But how do you build up the muscle? Well, you have to put it under more weight, just like an arm if you were putting it under more weight. So on a cellar sizer, we tighten and then bounce. You bounce while you're tightening because what it does is it's an isometric with an isotonic and that helps to build strength in, in that whole lower abdominal region and through the sphincter muscle. Okay. I notice you always slip off your shoes when you cellar size. Uh, Do you advise against bouncing with shoes on? I always bounce barefoot in the mornings. But I would love, I would like a lot more, or would be more likely to bounce a few additional minutes here and there throughout the day if I didn't have to take my, my lace-up shoes on and off repeatedly. Yeah, it depends on what kind of shoe it is and how much flexibility the shoe has. If the shoe is very rigid, and, and it also it, it involves the kind of activity that you're doing on the cellar sizer. If all you're doing is moving up and down, of course, that's fine. If you're doing a little bit of jogging, that's okay. But when you start to do movements where the body and the foot needs to move to support your alignment, I say kick off your shoes. And because the foot is gonna be far more flexible 
without being restricted by a shoe. And muscles and ligaments and bones can move to support your own natural alignment. So our foot becomes more flexible when it's not being restricted. And we've had all kinds of foot improvements. Um, shoes, depending on, on how they support your foot and how they move, can actually cause foot problems. So you want to, you want to just be careful with it. I, I prefer to be barefoot or in, in socks. Okay. All right. I've been cellar sizing for five weeks now. Is 10 minutes a day really all you need? I enjoy it so much I feel like I could or should do more, but have limited myself to 10 minutes for the exercises and four other sessions of two minutes for health bouncing throughout the day. I'm That's happy to good. do just that, but I love it so much I feel like I could do more. Thanks. And you're welcome to do more. One of the things to remember is that with cellar size, it's not so much of the amount of time that matters as much as how the cells are challenged within the amount of time. So it's the intensity. If you want to turn up the intensity, you're going to have, the body's going to adapt to that faster. It's going to have to. If you want to just do it for a longer period of time because it's fun, you're having a great time, go ahead, do it. I mean, it's great. Drink lots of water because remember, every time you move up and down, your cells expand and contract. So if you've got fat cells in there, which we all do, and they expand and contract, they can release toxins, poisons, heavy metals. Uh, you want to drink lots of water so they don't just go deposit somewhere else. So drinking lots of water is important with cellar size. Okay, so Mary asked on here about traveling with your cellar size. Now, I know this was a question that was asked quite a bit online as well and wished I had had a trifold. I know you can take the bifold, but the trifold is a lot easier to take. Yes. Uh, and toss the weight limit of the trifold and is it better to, most people just probably check it on, right? Yeah. Put a tag on it and check it? Sure, that's okay. what I do. I, I, I never leave home without it. And some people say, well, I, I usually don't take my cellar sizer with me. After you've become accustomed to cellar size, especially in the morning and how you feel, how you wake up, how it gets the lymphatic system going and makes you more alert and changes your blood chemistry and when you understand it all, you don't want to wake up any other way. And so we've made it convenient to travel with the trifold cellar sizer. I don't generally take the balance bar with me because that's 10, 10 additional pounds. So I take the balance bar out, I stick the, the unit in the carrying case and I just take it with me. It's in the back of my car now, it's been on cruises, it's been on air, it used to be on airplanes when they, before they made the compartment smaller. Um, it's, it's been all around the world. My unit again is 15 years old. I can't imagine, I wouldn't want to imagine leaving home without it. And so it's, uh, but, but I have it in the car without the balance bar. So it just makes it more convenient. Okay. All right. Let's see. I believe I recall Dave stating rebounding is good for plantar fasciitis. However, it seems to bother me more after rebounding. I'm open to suggestions and advice. Yeah, if you have plantar fasciitis or issues that already exist, you get on a cellar sizer, it's going to take time because those ligaments, those tendons are are pulled, they're torn. And when you get on a cellar sizer and you're moving up and down, if they don't have flexibility, then you're gonna feel it. So having, that's one of those times where if you had a soft soled slipper or something to help add a, a little additional support, while your, your foot is becoming more flexible over time, then it, it can help. My body has been through so much. Uh, I used to be a pole holder in high school. I go, I was pretty good, <laughs> about 15 feet up in the air, and sometimes I'd miss the pit, and then I'd land on the ground. Well, that, <laughs> that kind of tore, <laughs> that kind of tore up the, uh, the foot and the muscles and, and, and the knees. And in fact, I've had the doctors, when they had to look at my knee injuries, they, they'd seen lesions where I'd torn them up in the past. I said, it doesn't surprise me. Um, I'm pretty, been a pretty active guy. I've got a lot of mileage on the body. But none of it bothers me at all. And I know that that's because of the cellar size. All right. Okay. Does the Jamba run get easier? <laughs> my <laughs> mind just won't let me do this, but a few <laughs> seconds at a time. Plus hoping my stomach muscles, muscles get stronger and flatter soon. Try to jump at least 15 minutes every morning. Anytime I watch television, I bounce and lean my head and, and core back. 
So the Jamba run. I also had another one come on here so we can do this in double fold. They want to see the Jamba run done from the side view so they sure. can see how far you lean back yep. and that sort of thing. So we're going to go ahead and do the Jamba run right here so you can see it. Good and good question. Now it's mental. A lot of the Jamba run is mental. You know we develop a love-hate relationship with it. We love it because it works. We hate it because it is probably one of the most intense aerobic exercises you'll ever do because it uses the biggest muscles of the body and they have a great demand for fuel. So standing on, on this exerciser, your back is straight, you're bent at the knee. We don't lean forward even though it makes it easier because it takes the weight off the thigh. We want to keep the weight on the thighs and it also strengthens the knees. And so with our feet flat, you can start off with the Jamba walk, which is fine, but the Jamba run you're, you're thinking more in terms of pushing down into the mat rather than lifting your feet up off the mat. And it's just like this. That's the jamba run. And it, it, yeah, I'm tired just watching. It's, in, it's intense. <laughs> it is intense. It, but, it, but it works. Um, it's very effective. Can you do it too much? The jamba run? Mm -hmm. Well... Yeah. Some people don't want to overdo it, you know, so they, they don't want to hurt themselves. That was a question that just came across. They, they, they love doing it. They're doing everything they can to, you know, yeah. build Did, themselves up. And so. When you say, can you do it too much? Initially, you want to build up the supporting muscles and ligaments around the knees. Ultimately, um, you can do repetitions of it. And my daughter was doing repetitions of it almost 20 minutes a night for a month. She lost 10 pounds. I was doing repetitions of it for 10 seconds at a time all day long, demonstrating it at health shows and for two and a half days. And even though I wasn't doing it very much, it wasn't part of my normal routine at that point, I was demonstrating it, I dropped down to 3% body fat. I, I, it, that, that's not healthy. <laughs> it was too much. My metabolism. And that's one thing about the Jamba Run, is it can increase metabolic processes. My metabolism soared. And the doctors, when I went to them, I said, listen, I'm eating two dinners at night. I can't put on any weight. I can lose eight to 10 pounds in a weekend. I think something's wrong. And they did a full physical on me. And many of you have heard me say this. They said, David, you're in great shape. You got the metabolism of a 19-year-old. And I said, well, that's just not normal. He said, that's just your body type. Don't worry about it. It wasn't the body type. It was doing too much of the Jamba run during the course of the day. I would do it. My metabolism would go up. Never had time to come down before I'd be doing it again. So my metabolism was so high in those weekends, demonstrating that I had to back off of it. And then it took about a month to get my rear end back. My wife witnessed the whole thing. This thing is absolutely amazing. And I've never seen anything like the Jamba run. We've had women who've written us the testimonials about how they got rid of their cellulite in two and three weeks doing repetitions of the Jama run for almost 20 minutes a night. That's, uh, that's intense. So can you do too much? It depends on what you mean by too much. Um, yeah, you can, you can get your metabolism going too high. Um, you can, uh, when you're first starting off, you just, it's mental. It's, it's mostly mental. You're gonna build, build up your knees first. The Jamba Walk is the best thing to do. Give yourself time. Ligaments and tendons take longer to catch up to the muscles. So the muscles will get strong, but we want to get the ligaments and tendons strong too because that's supporting your joints, and, and that's really important. So, so I hope that it, answers the question. So was it just reducing the Jamba Run that gave you your rear end back? I mean, you know, they kind yeah, of I they backed off. So I, just backing off I just, just kind backed of allowed off. your body to come back to the yeah. way it was. Okay. Yeah, because okay. once you burn enough muscle or enough fat off and there's nothing left to burn off, but you're still creating all this demand for fuel, well, then the body goes after the muscle. And, and the buttocks was, I guess, the easiest that muscle to go. Yeah. <laughs> okay. so. All righty. So uh, Talia had posted a picture of you doing that, that big jump. On, on oh, yeah, yeah. And she, her thing was she can't wait to, she hopes she can never do that. <laughs> but her thing was she was very flexible when she was younger. And yeah. she's hoping to get that back. Is it come from just doing simple bouncing? Are there yeah. techniques that will allow you to get that, that flexibility and elasticity back? It, it comes yeah. from the bouncing. Okay. You see, when you stretch, 
you're taking muscles and ligaments that may be a little tighter, and stretching, you're trying to loosen them up some or stretch them, have them become more flexible. Well, and you can tear them if you stretch, overstretch, and that doesn't feel good either. But when you cellar size, you're taking the same cell, the same tissue, and they're expanding and contracting. They're being massaged. And the movement up and down increases circulation and flexibility of all the, those tissues automatically. So it's, it's interesting because when I used to do more lectures, I'd have a person go down and touch their toes. And then I'd get them on the cellarizer and work with them for a little while. And then I'd have them touch their toes again. And they'd like, oh my goodness, look how much further I can go. Yeah, because the body's warmed up. The flexibility is increased. Now, you can do cellar size and then, it w then stretch. It's better to cellar size first because you're warmed up. You've got more circulation. The body's more balanced. And if, you want, if you're into yoga or, or martial arts, you're going to have a better experience cellar sizing first because your body's in a different state. And, and you'll get better results and faster results as a result of that as well. But you can incorporate both and, and increase your flexibility even more. When I did that jump and touched my feet, I was 60 years old. And I, I honestly, I didn't know if I could do it. The photographer said, well, can you jump up and touch your toes? I'd done that in 1998, and it was featured on the front cover of a magazine. And I thought, well, I, I don't know. And so I went up and, and very tentatively tried to do it. And it looked weird. And, and landed again. I said, oh, that wasn't that hard. And then I did it again. And then I said, oh, hey, this is easy. And so I, I gained the confidence. That I hadn't done it in, what, almost 20 years. 25 years. Yeah, yeah. So, um, or, or more. <laughs> so yes, um, that's Hey, it's been called, and I've said it before, the closest thing to the fountain of youth yet devised by man. I believe it. Okay, so when should you replace your mat? I don't think you should ever have to replace your mat. You shouldn't have to replace your mat. If you do jumping jacks on the cellar sizer and you're landing too close to the edge over and over, that can wear a mat out. I've never had to replace a mat. The mat that, in fact, I've got a unit that's been outside in the sun, the rain, and the snow for 16 years. This last winter, I knocked off the snow. We put it on Facebook. My daughter was with me, knocked off the snow, and I jumped on it outside. It's fine. Um, so it's designed to last, uh, even in the elements. If it's down at the beach, you will probably get rust on it if you leave it outside because there's corrosion and there's salt, and salt creates the corrosion. You need to wash it off or hose it off um, occasionally. But even then, it's still built like a tank. So. Okay, so this one asked on here, we're going to, and I think I just lost it. Oh, her daughter got a huge thigh bruise from an activity that she was in. Will bouncing on, on the cellar sites help with the healing of that? Oh, of course. Thigh bruise. It just helps the circulation Absolutely. and getting things to drain. Helps okay. reduce the inflammation, improves, even doctors know bones and muscles heal faster and grow stronger with, when exposed to some stress. That's the idea behind the walking cast. Well, when you're on a cellar sizer and you're moving up and down, you're activating the circulatory system, making it easier on the heart, breaking up blockages, um, helping reduce inflammation and increase circulation. It's moving fluid through the whole body. Okay, and this, well, there's two more. Sure. Um, I was wondering if you had, um, know anyone with rosacea. Did I say that right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And if rebounding helped with it. I have been rebounding for just over a month up to 30 minutes per day, and so far no change. If it does help, any idea on the time frame? Yeah, um, good question. Uh, the cellar sizer improves the immune system. If often conditions like that, and again, you need to consult with a doctor on it, and I'm obligated to, to mention that when it deals with a, a particular medical condition. I know that yeast has played a big part and been misdiagnosed in people a lot. And that, that yeast can actually get into the skin and, and cause problems that have been given different names and titles. And as you kill the yeast, often the other issues kind of disappear. And we've seen that. 
When you get on a cellular size, and we're going to talk about the immune system, and you build up the immune system, and it can take time, but, well, are we ready to talk about the immune system? Let's do it. Okay, yes. all right. Let's, while but, you're into it, let's talk about it. Before that, just, we're going to come to that in just a moment. Before that, though, tell us how you're doing. I, I'm still doing good. I miss my good. cellular sizer all week, so when I take my next trip, I'm going to see about getting something checked in and take it with me because I'll be gone good. for like eight days. Okay. And so both my husband and I use the cellular sizer, and, and we missed it. All we could say all week was, I can't wait to get home and jump. And I ended up with a sharp pain in my, the back calf of my right leg, which always stresses me out having a blood clotting disorder. And yesterday I was in quite a bit of pain and I was not smart enough to get on it yesterday. Yeah. <laughs> so this morning I got up and I just health bounced today and I got through the day. Like as it, I got off after one minute and the pain was literally gone. I do not know why I tortured myself for an entire day and waited. So I'm super grateful. <laughs> Appreciate so you. I'm super grateful Good. for this because living with a high pain level, it's nice to not have to add extra. Yeah. And so, and I have noticed my fibro improving and changing a little bit and getting better. And so I am truly grateful for a disease that I've had since I was 12 that has kept me from doing things. And I actually feel functional. My kids have noticed that they hear this a lot less from their mother than they used to. Mm. I'm just too tired. That's what they used to always hear from me. And now yeah. it's, what do you want to go do? Yeah. And so I'm excited for that. So I am doing better. This week is going to be so much better for me because Good. we'll be back on it and yep. feeling much better. I have lost weight. I've had people ask that. Uh, I'll even divulge. I've lost 15 pounds, which I think is pretty good in two and a half months for yeah. somebody who has had to take it slow. Yep. I have watched <laughs> what I'm eating, not all the time because yeah. I like food. Yeah. But I have been more careful and more cautious for the majority of the time on what I'm putting in. I've noticed on the days that I think I need that little treat, yeah. how much worse I felt. Mm -hmm. So I'm grateful for the changes. So I can't thank you enough. Good, good, good. <laughs> so, I'm glad. Okay. I'm happy with both of you. And thanks. I, Christine's husband's sitting over here, and he's been so helpful. I want to acknowledge him and say thank you for, for your help. All right. I love this topic, the immune system. We live in a culture today where we're being exposed to all kinds of various different outside elements that are affecting our overall health. We can no longer really be or live in a reactive mode. We're being exposed to chemicals and preservatives and additives and, and herbicides and pesticides and electromagnetic fields and all these various different things affect our body and our body chemistry as well. So people get, I woke up this morning sick. I did. I, 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 I knew it was coming on. My eyes, I could barely open them and I said, oh my goodness, great. Everybody around me had been sick for weeks. I'm like, oh, finally got me and I've got to give my or I get to give my um, presentation tonight with swollen eyes and a runny nose and feeling awful. I'm like, no, I'm not going to do that. It's not going to happen. And so I started to do exactly what I'm going to show you. I tell you, this thing is absolutely amazing. The immune system has an enormous potential. And if we take a proactive approach toward improving the ability of the immune system to do the job it already knows how to do, rather than a reactive approach to treating the illness itself, uh, I believe we're going to reach our greater, a much greater health potential. So the lymphatic system, it's designed to keep us alive and healthy. And for those of you who've seen my, my DVD, it starts in the, it's a circulatory system. It starts in the toes, the fingertips, and other extremities of the body. And these, the actual lymphatic system is made up of millions of one-way valves and it holds a negative pressure. It's important to understand this because movement causes suction and as we move up and down on a cellular sizer, the pressure changes cause the millions of one-way valves to start sucking like a vacuum system. Now the lymphatic system doesn't have a heart to keep it circulating so it is dependent upon those pressure changes to keep it moving. So as we're moving up and down Millions of one-way valves start sucking, and within a few minutes, we create a circuit of movement that's pulling circulation through the tissue spaces, the bones and joints, and vacuuming out the internal environment of the body. 
that's when I wake up in the morning. If I notice any puffiness around the eyes and I get on the cellar sizer for about, you know, three to five minutes and look, the puffiness is gone because the lymphatic system starts to pull that circulation and start to move it around through the body again. If you have a cold or an allergy or you're stuffy in the head and you get on a cellar sizer and you start to move up and down, it starts to clear the head. And you may have a runny nose until you finish going through the, uh, the healing process, but you'll feel better from jumping up and down on the cellar sizer. So I woke up this morning knowing through Dr. Arthur C. Guyton's book, Medical Physiology and his research, that if I get on the cellar sizer and I run as fast as I can for one minute, I can increase the number of active white blood cells in my body by 10 to 15 times. And they'll stay there for up to one hour. That's like one minute for one hour of your own natural antibiotic. And so if you do it several times during the day, which I did, you're improving your immune system's ability proactively to go after and destroy the foreign invaders, whatever they may be. Viruses, germs, bacteria, fungus, dead cells, mutant cells, cancerous cells. We destroy them. And the immune system's job is not to know how to do that. So getting on this cellar sizer, I'm going to kick Oh, I'm my... glad you're going to show us how this is done. <laughs> oh, yeah. We start off <clears throat> always with the gentle health bounce, the baby bounce. And this is moving circulation through the body. And then, then we're going to um, do the, well, this is what I do. Now, ligaments and tendons get stronger over time. So don't try what I do, <laughs> especially initially. I don't know how many people could do it anyway. There are many of you can. I'm sure there's a whole lot of you that are in much better shape than I am. But what I do is I get on this cellar size, and I'll turn this to the side so I don't have the, the bar in front of me. Sorry about the static there, I'm sure. <laughs> they want to see this done just as All much right. as I do. Okay, so what I try to do is I compete with myself. I go for one full minute, and, and I'm not going to do that here. I'll go, I'll, I'll demonstrate it, because <laughs> after the minute I'm tired and I won't be able to talk for a few moments. <laughs> but after um, one minute, I see how many times this leg can come down within that minute. And it's pretty fast. And I generally get to about, well, I've been doing it regularly and in good shape. I'm, I'm about 135. Um, and you want to get your knees up high enough and, and run really, really fast. And when you're done, you're going to be huffing and puffing. And so you stand on it and you just gently move up and down while you're, re you're catching your breath and improving the circulation. Now it's very intense. And when they did an x-ray, when I cracked my rib, I'm always doing something. Um, they, uh, they noticed that um, my lungs were quite long. And, and the nurse commented, boy, you've got long lungs. And I can only imagine it's probably because of this. And they said, you've got a, a, a big heart, a strong heart, too. I'm like, wow, it's got to be from the cellar size. And you can see why this, this would do it. But it goes, um, get that out of the way. I don't want to hit it. But yeah, I'll let you hold that. OK, so just again, after you've warmed up, um, you're just going to, well, it's, it's, it's just run in place. So it's like this. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 15, 16, 17, 20. And when you get toward the end, you're not, you're not going to be running as fast, but it kind of gives you an idea. Good. Perfect. Yeah. All right. Anything else you want to add about the lymphatic system? I'm sure there are things. Um, and doing the twist every day, that's actually taking the colon, intestines, liver, kidney, gallbladder, the spleen, 
all those internal organs that have lymph nodes around them. And it's helping to improve the lymphatic flow in that as well. Okay. All righty. Okay. So as for my routine, can, should I just keep going and doing what I'm doing? Yeah, we want to get you back, back at it. So okay. health bounce, breathing in and out, right. twist, right. jogging in place. You're doing some resistance movements. Yes. That's the... Trying to get rid of what we call bat wings. So we're Good. working on those. Okay. <laughs> and you can do it this way. You can do it this way as well. Okay. I haven't tried it that way, so that's good. Okay. Because, yeah, if you're pushing down and pulling up, you're going to be working right on the back of the arm. Okay. And that's where I need to work the most. Okay. Yeah. That tightens and tones that area. Some jamba run. Absolutely. Or, and when I do the jamba run, I, I've noticed I can actually do a full 20 seconds. Good. From the first. And then it gets... Less and less as I go, but I will just lightly jog in between. Is that appropriate? Or even just health bounce? Yes, okay. that's exactly what we need to do. When you do the jamba run, you're increasing metabolic processes as well as burning weight. So if you can do it several times during the day, you're going to have a higher metabolic rate. And that's good if you're wanting to lose weight. And then I think the last one that I've been doing is you have me do the ski patrol. Yes. So good. starting okay. the ski patrol. So just stay in that realm and get back up to par and then we'll discuss it again. Yep. yep. Okay. That's good. And well, actually, unfortunately, everybody, I'm sorry. I'll be out of town next Monday. So we're going to hold off go not going live next Monday. Okay. We're going to wait and go into the next, the next, the following Monday. So we'll post that online as well. Anna, I just want to tell you, I have loved your comments online and if your cute little 11 year old daughter is with you still hello welcome from both of us it has been fun to watch the comments today everybody we cannot even begin to thank you for your loyalty your support your dedication everything that helps make this such a fabulous product it's not enough for you to say it and for me to say it but when people like you come on and say this has changed my life absolutely makes a difference for for all of us and we cannot thank you enough. So we'll be going live in two weeks from today and I apologize for the break in that. And if you found benefit in this, know people who are struggling, please like, comment, share, let's spread this word as far as we can in order to make a difference in so many people's lives that could possibly use it. Not just those of us that are already reaping the benefits. Is there anything else that you would like to add? No, just what you said was fine. Okay. Um, you want to reach out because I turned down nearly half a dozen infomercials. They wanted the message, but they wanted to cheapen the product. They said they'd sell more. I said, it's not about how many we sell, it's about how many people we help. If you cheapen the product, it isn't going to work. Ask people right now that are using rebounders and they're not getting results. There's a reason for that. So the seller sizer is designed to give you results. And, and we have a support team here so if you know anybody, um, feel free to have them give me a call. Or if they have any issues, if you have a doctor, health practitioner, chiropractor, and they have questions about it, I am happy to talk to them and share different approaches with them that might be appropriate for you. Thank you again for being part of the family. I want to thank Christine for being willing to have the courage to go through and, and put herself on the line. And have you watch her go through the experiences that is helping her to reach her greater health potential too. So thank you, Christine. Thank you. All right, we'll see you in two weeks. Thanks, everybody. All right.